Rita Spaulding is an artist. She loves what she does. Painting is her passion, but it's not people or places that fuel her fire, but rather pets. Over the years, she's captured many furry faces on canvas. She's happiest when she's busy. Visiting her in her quaint, small studio, I let her get busy with one of my favorite subjects. Boy, I love the critters, so, mm -hmm. you know, whenever I can paint something from life, um, you know, I've painted chickens and foxes and baby deer and cats and dogs and all kinds of critters. So I love painting uh, things that I enjoy, and those are the things I love. Are so it fulfills you and fulfills your need to kind of help, too. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. What you give back. Tell me about that. Well, um, I've done a number of things that benefit um, different animal organizations, and uh, some, you know, a little low-key, and I've done some, you know, things for people that have lost pets. Um, I've done some things for, um, oh, Riley Hospital. When you look at a, uh, your subject, a right. critter, <laughs> what catches your attention? Well, personality, first off, is, you know, the, the, the sparkle in the eye or the smile or, you know, their individual characteristics. Um, I don't typically, the, the paintings that I do, I would say are very much portraits of individual pets and it's that pet in that moment. So, you know, they've all, got, they're like people, they've got different looks and different expressions and whatever, but, uh, you know, that one moment that everybody loves, their favorite photograph, their favorite um, image of that pet, it's usually an expression. I mean, everybody's taking iPhone pictures and videos right. and snapshots, but there's something really special about a portrait. Is it the love that you put into it? Or? I would say yes. Um, well, there's nothing, you know, if a painting is a good painting, it's always going to be better than a portrait, than a photograph. It's like, it's different than a photograph. It's got, you know, the human hand and the human expression. So I'm, it's, the portrait is my interpretation of that photograph. It's what filters through me and my experiences. and. Um, you know, the amount of love I feel for animals, and so that comes through. You know, it's um, you know, brushwork. Um, with a photograph, it, it, it's, it's a little sterile. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's more emotion and more um, a different kind of energy in a, in a painting. Yeah, so it sort of has an aura about yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. If there's something, a photograph, you, you get what you get, and then you right. got what you're supposed to get, and if it looks good, it looks good. But right. there's interpretation, maybe, with exactly. a, a painting. Exactly, and there's something um, special about a portrait in that there's an intention there. Like you said, everybody's got their iPhone, snap, snap, snap. Um, but when you love an animal enough to have it painted, there's some, and then the, the fact that the painting isn't a photograph, it's, it, ha, it is a portrait, it, it is a, you know, a man-made um, creation. There's a whole different energy about it. So when you put that in a frame, um, it's different than if you frame a photograph. There's nothing wrong with photographs and photographs that are beautifully done, um, oh, but yeah. there's, it, it's just, it's, they're apples and chickens. It's just different. Yes. It's just a different yeah. way of expressing your love for an animal. <laughs> and so we left Rita doing what she loves, painting a stroke of genius.